Hey guys, Target Recycle on FPV, and I gotta tell you, right now I'm about as frustrated as I can get. Uh, I got another charger here, a customer just sent it back to us, he bought it brand new, and I gotta tell you something, man, I mean, I'm really getting to the point where these, I don't know, these companies, they just suck. I don't even know what to do about this anymore because I'm getting tired of everybody just putting out shit equipment, but this is a brand new, brand new charger. Uh, customer he said, buttons don't work, and I'm sitting here going, no, they work just fine, until I try to touch the left side of the screen, okay? When, when I try to do anything here, I can't even change. It's like there's a permanent, it's like it's permanently being pressed. And here's the other part is when I go to plug this in, let's say I want to do a firmware update. Now their site just sucks. I mean, like I got to call it like I see it. Their site sucks. This is the message I get. See that? USB device not recognized. I mean, it just, the whole thing sucks. You can't get any software downloads here. I go to my download. This is all I get. And the problem is, is when I run that software, which I did download, which is sitting right here uh, at the top of this page, obviously because it doesn't recognize this, um, let's see, it's right here, and then it's here, and then it's here, and then here's the software. Thanks, first of all, I've got no file to download because there's no freaking file on their website. Here's their website, so, so I go to my downloads page, this is awesome. Click downloads and uh, let me do it like this. This way they can at least know that I'm talking when I'm talking about it. So I'm, I've got the T240, right? So I click this right here. Great. Here goes to the T240 page, right? So I get, I get okay, introduction, great. Uh, not sure anything happened. Specs, wonderful. Manual, great. I can click this and get the manual. Uh, let me see what else. Certifications, not really sure that even up. No, 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 none. Okay, great. Uh, and photos, great. Thanks for the photos. But what doesn't uh, doesn't do is give me any firmware, and so when you run this software that they give you, look, there's no UART, there's no nothing to connect it to. I got nothing. I don't even know what this is. I can't read Chinese, so I have no idea what the hell this is. So I click clear, fine. I've got nothing. I've got nothing. I got no port because in my in my uh, in my device manager, I've got it. It comes up as an unknown device. Now it's supposed to be running the uh, CP210X drivers that's what tries to load but i have those loaded i have every version of those loaded um and it doesn't work so uh i'm going to try to do an update driver real quick uh just to see if i can find oh let me just pick from a list and let me just go over here to silicon labs see if i have anything else uh, let's try this we're just going to force that in there Right, still not recognized, still a piece of shit. So uh, there was a software that came out a long time ago where you had to, or a driver that came out with conflict and you had to uh, force a Silicon Labs update. Let me just go ahead and uninstall this. And then if I do an action scan, and there's nothing. I mean, I've done every Silicon Labs uh, and I still cannot get it. And that is not just for the, 20, the 240, that is also for the 400. Uh, which I don't have any problems with, but I wanted to see if I could get a firmware update or do anything with that. So, so here's the deal. I'm just I'm tired of the shit because I'm tired of these people putting out product that just just suck. I mean, it just sucks. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. I assume that I, I assume I don't know if that's right or not yet because I've never opened one of these before. I'm gonna assume that these screws are gonna be under these pads here because I don't see any other spot for them. So let me get a, an exacto knife if I can find one and just peel the pads back, or I'll just use my razor, use my exacto knife. Let me just take one off. I don't wanna screw this whole thing up any more than it already is. Yeah, okay, that's right. So we're just gonna go ahead, pop these screws off, and I'm just gonna see if there's anything touching the screen or getting close to the screen. Maybe if I, if I can clean the bottom side of it, it'll work, I don't know. But I don't understand the point of these companies Putting out, they give you a PC link port that you can't use. Um, pretty disappointed in that. And, and let me tell you something: if it if it is usable, it needs to be made much clearer to the end user because I can't put in two hours to do this because the end users are going to put in two hours. The end users are like, look, I bought this, I want it to work. Problem is, is companies like mine who bring this shit in here. I mean, we bring in stuff expecting it to be good, and it's terrible, and they fail, and they don't, I mean, it's just kind of darn. <sighs> All right, so let's see where we're at. Well, I don't even know if I 
if I can take that off from there. Let me see if I can. Looks like it's on there pretty good, so I might be stuck here, so hold on. Yeah, that looks like it's on there pretty good. So I'm going to try to work this with it remaining plugged in. Why not? That's set. I'm going to go ahead and plug this in and try not to shock the hell out of myself at the same time. Lord knows I don't want to shock myself, so if we could please keep me innocent and pain-free. See how when we press channel 2, it won't move? Because it's as if there's something stuck. And here's what I did is I went to like, uh, maybe it was setting, no. Calibration, no. Modify, no. Okay, I went to go press this button here. I raise this. You see now, I press the plus, and now it's automatically decreasing as if there's something on this side, and now I can't raise it. Okay, and that's the end of it. That's it. We got nothing working. It's so aggravating. You know, it's just so damn aggravating. What? I think we just fixed it. I guess maybe this cable was not, this ribbon cable right here was not put in properly. It's not seated properly. I just undid it and then turned this back on and I think now we have all our stuff working. Hold on a second, let's see. Holy crap, there we go. That's it. I mean, it, I'm gonna put this back together and we're gonna see. That looks like that may have solved the problem. So we had definitely, what I did is I reseated this ribbon right here. I pulled this up, pushed it back down, reseated it, and perhaps it wasn't sitting in there properly. We're gonna find out. <sighs> Gotta love that quality control, guys. Gotta love that quality control. God darn it, you think, you think that there's somebody over there that's gonna check this shit out and make sure that it's working properly. So I'm going to put it back together now and we're going to see, okay? Let's cross our fingers. Let's hope everything goes well. It should. And perhaps we just had a bad ribbon. So, so pissed at these companies, man. That stuff, and I don't know. I don't understand it. You explain to me how the hell you put a product out you have no firmware downloads. You offer a PC link software, but I cannot get it to connect. Uh, you know, and, and if it's a matter of digging for a driver, I don't want to do that. I mean, my customers don't want to do that. Nobody wants to do that. That's why we come to you guys and we, they, they pay a good amount of money to get a charger that works. And what do they end up with? I mean, they end up with something that touchscreen doesn't work. or And then you try to go do firmware update and the damn thing doesn't work. And it just doesn't make sense. Tell you what, guys, and I'll say it just flat out like this. Until shit starts getting made back in the U.S. again, dude, 
you know, who's going to hold them to a higher, who's going to hold anybody to a higher standard? Everybody's, everybody's fighting to get cheap. I want to pay nothing, but I want something for it. And that's where we end up with. At the mercy of, of people who don't want to do quality control, at the mercy of people who don't, that are just like, hey, they got to buy from us because those people don't make their own shit. Come on. I apologize if I'm offending anybody. I don't mean to, but I got to tell you like it is, guys. I deal with thousands of pieces of electronics, and I mean, you can just sit and watch them go down the drain. I mean, they just, the quality is just worse and worse and worse. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. Let's turn it over. Let's plug it in. Let's see if it works. Look at that. So we just had a cable that was reseated incorrectly. That's it. I mean, God, you know, take five minutes to do your job over there before you ship shit over here. Apologize, guys. I mean, well, no, I don't apologize. I, I guess I just I get tired of making excuses and hearing excuses. You know, you don't have a chip shortage. You got an intelligence shortage. That's the problem. You got a care for your damn job shortage. You got a quality control shortage. That's the problem. So I'm going to pack this back up now, guys. I'm going to get it back to the customer. Guess we'll have to pull all these off the shelf and start testing those too. This is completely disgusting. Um, but it's working now, so we just need to receive the cable. Anyways. Guys, subscribe to my channel, please. I appreciate your support. Um, like I said, man, we're, we're narrowing down what we're going to carry, and shit like this isn't going to fly at my shop. It's not going to fly with our company anymore. So hopefully people pick up, the, pick up the quality here or else get the hell out. All right? We'll talk to you soon, guys. Peace. Bye.